Hi YouTube, you're probably thinking, why is he showing us a video of some dead stick insects? Um, these are my jungle nymphs, and they've died um, naturally. It's um, it's the end of their season, they've finished laying all their eggs. You can see how thin their bodies look, because they were really fat, they were really swollen with eggs, but um, you can see now their abdomens are really thin. And yeah, they finish laying all their eggs and this is just what happens. So there are very few kind of invertebrates that live longer than a year or two in captivity. I mean, obviously things like um, female tarantulas and things can live 30 or 40 years, some of them. But um, for most kind of insects and things like that, um, a year or two is kind of the most you get. Um, so these are the eggs um, that they've laid. And what I've done is basically I had three female um, jungle nymphs and two males um, those first two females died and then there was about a, a week after that and um, my final female just died which I'll show you in a second this was me just taking out like the last of the um, eggs from the soil um, I took some from when those uh, first two died and then I did the same again after this one died so this was my very last female and yeah, just found her dead this morning. But it's, I mean, it's obviously very sad. Um, but I know that they've done their thing, you know, they've they've had their life, they've laid their eggs. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get the eggs to hatch. So this was the final count. I removed all of the eggs from the substrate, um, put them on this bit of damp kitchen paper so I could... Um, see how many I've got basically so these are in rows of uh, 10 so you can see we ended up with 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 in that main square 110 120 130 133 um, so it basically means that um, each stick insect laid sort of 43 eggs each something like that which is pretty good 43 44 eggs um and i'm not sure if that's uh you know sort of average or if i did slightly better than normal but it seems like a lot to me so this was me putting the eggs back into substrate so remember i said like a lot of people try and hatch these on damp kitchen paper sort of laid out like they are there but that just means that you'd have to keep spraying them every week so i prefer to keep them in uh, coconut fiber so you can see i've just scraped a big layer of coconut fiber over to one side so it's, it's nice and deep and i'm just putting these eggs in and trying to leave a bit of space between uh, eggs it's not always possible i don't think it matters too much but rather than just have them all just in one big heap uh, i try to kind of um, have a bit of a gap between some of them at least okay so you saw that i put uh, a bit of um, coconut fiber back over to create like another layer so these eggs now are slightly uh, they'll be slightly closer to the surface so i'm just trying not to um if you excuse the pun uh you know keep all my eggs in one basket by having different layers um eggs at different depths um, it's more likely that I'll get uh, some of them to hatch. I mean, I'm hoping that I'll get them all to hatch, but uh, we shall see. So you can see here I just moved some earth over to one side and I'm just putting some, uh, like another layer over that side. And then I just poke some holes in. Now when I do this, it probably looks like I'm being quite rough, but I actually was very gentle when I did this. I obviously don't want to squash any eggs that I've put in already, so I'm just kind of loosely um, opening holes in the coconut fibre and just dropping eggs down into it. Um, coconut fibre seems pretty good because it, you know, like a lot of uh, soils and things are quite sticky and, you know, clumpy. This is quite sort of uh, open, I guess you would describe it as. Uh, and it, it tends to kind of resist mould and things as well, which is great for um, incubating eggs. So this uh, ice cream tub, what I basically do, I keep keep the um, substrate in here moist um, and you'll see in a bit like the the lid for this tub just has a few kind of air holes but hardly any so condensation forms actually on top of the lid the whole time and drips back down into the substrate um, 
thus keeping the substrate moist the whole time. Uh, you can't hatch these at room temperature, they've got to be slightly warmer really than room temperature. So what I do is I put this into another vivarium that I've got. Actually at the moment the other vivarium's got leaf insects in it, but um, the main thing is that it's also got a layer of coconut fibre that is also kept damp and that is on top of a heat mat so it keeps the whole kind of cage warm so yeah this tub goes within that cage and these eggs need to be incubated for i can't remember if it's nine months or um, 12 months but it's certainly a long time um so i'll, I'll record the date um, that these were laid and then i'll just keep an eye on them so this is the lid with all the condensation on it you can see there's only nine holes and uh, that will go on and then that will go back into the other vivarium. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful for some of you. Um, hit subscribe if you want to see other kind of uh, videos on keeping exotic creatures. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next video.